Good morning everyone. It's our final day here in Las Galeras. We got lucky with the weather, beautiful sunny day today. And we're going to be heading to a really popular beach, a really beautiful beach called Playa Rincón. A lot of people think it's the nicest beach here. And it's quite far away, I think it's like a 20-30 minute ride, so we're going to be renting a scooter. We haven't rented a scooter I don't think since uh, Southeast Asia, ages ago. So we're going to head into town now, we already actually paid for it and it was a uh, thousand Dominican pesos for the day. So yeah, we're just going to go there and collect it now. So we got the scooter here, looks like a pretty good one, right? Yeah. Can you still ride one of these things? Yeah, I can. You can? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Rincon. The road was really good pretty much all the way. No it wasn't. <laughs> no it wasn't. Now there was a lot of speed bumps but the actual road itself was alright. Now it now it's even worse though. Now we gotta drive like on the sand. Parallel to the beach. Because the, the main part's here at the bottom. Loads of puddles as well because it's been raining. Guys, so we just got off the bike and you won't believe how this beach looks. Look at all this sargassum. Yeah, I guess i never seen anything like that. No, neither have I. Oh my god. I didn't realize it could get this bad. It's the beach all the way down. That's crazy. It's like full of trash as well, right? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I guess nobody is swimming in the in the beach today. No, we'll have to go to the river. Yeah, the river. So we're kind of lucky in that sense that you're going to see here has an extremely beautiful river. And we just saw the color of it. It's normal. I guess the water's going out. There's nothing coming in. But this is crazy. I've never seen anything like this before. I didn't realize it could get so thick and the water's just all nasty as well. If you saw the last video, we went to Fronton and that had a bit of sargassum, absolutely nothing compared to this. But we didn't know much about it at the time and then I was searching online and it seems like in the last two to three weeks, like a big wave of sargassum has hit the Caribbean. So yeah, all the Caribbean islands, Mexico, they're, they're all screwed right now. They all look like this, so it's just timing. And yeah, we've just come at a bad time for beach stuff. There are still beaches that don't have the problem though. So we're gonna have to do some research and make sure that we only go to beaches that yeah don't look like this because you're not going to enjoy the beach when it's like this we thought that this one would be protected right because it's more like yeah, inland it's like an on a bay so we thought it would be better but it's even worse than from Tom. yeah like the beaches where we're staying in las galeras they're okay yeah they're, I, I don't understand why like it must be the way the currents are coming yeah, or something but we have to we we'll have to make some research to see which beaches we're going in the next uh, days because yeah we don't want to keep going to beaches and they're like this so that's like we cannot uh, enjoy the beach yeah yeah this one is nuts anyway let's enjoy the the river Uh, 
the smell of sargassum if you never smelt it. Absolutely disgusting. So yeah, we need to get away from this stuff. But luckily we do have the nice river over here. Yeah, so even now without the sun, look at the color of this river. Looks amazing. It's called Caño Frio. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I think a lot of people actually come here for the river, to chill in the river, so yeah, we're gonna be here all day. There's a bit of sargassum here as well, but I think deep over there we'll, we should be okay. It's crazy though, because if you see pictures of this place, the water out there pretty much just looks like this color here. Yeah, and now it's just all destroyed. <laughs> crazy. Sad though. Yeah, now the sun's hitting, so check out that river. Beautiful. Still worth coming here at least. At least we got this. Yeah, so the the name is pretty accurate. This is ice cold. Caño helado. That ice bath. Probably get used to it soon. At least at this part you can't smell the sargassum anymore. The, at the start of the river you can still smell it everywhere. Here's fine. I'm loving this place though, look at this. Looks incredible. Different. Yeah, probably one of the most clearest rivers I've ever seen. Absolutely transparent. Come on, Carol, get in the, the ice bath. It's really for you. Really for you. I've been here, in here for a while though, and yeah, it's actually quite nice now. I actually like it. You'll like it soon, Carol. <laughs> what did he say? Something about a good trip? Yeah, bon paseo. Bon paseo, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, going to check out how the river looks a bit deeper. Still debating whether we're going to do the boat tour or not. A lot of people are doing it, a lot of Dominicans. This looks cool though, check this out. <laughs> Whoa. Ah, it's actually a shallow here. You can walk the river then. <laughs> Maybe we could just walk it instead of the boat tour. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk any further, but I imagine probably look something like this all the way through. It's really cool because it's all overgrown, surrounded by the trees. Yeah, we're lucky that this place is here because if it wasn't, we'd have probably just gone back to the beaches near our place that don't really have the sargassum issue. But for this it's worth staying, for sure. got a cocoa not really that cold kind of like a uh, warm but yeah it tastes pretty good loads of water a pretty big one and that was uh, 150 Dominican pesos and we come to a different spot so that we can lie down here 
pretty cool though because it's basically still a beach so it's like a, a beach river it's nicer than a lot of beaches actually with this color water and there's loads of vendors here that pass by so you can get all sorts of food i think there's even a restaurant back there so yeah they do have those facilities bathrooms as well you got used to it now yeah it's a bit cold but i think i can get i can just get used to it what other rivers have we been in that are this clear one in Puerto Rico, remember that one. Which one? Uh, it was not a river, it was like a mangrove barrier. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, but that was in the ocean. Oh yeah, so it was not a river. Uh, I don't know, I don't remember how there's... <laughs> yeah, we've seen like ones with like really nice shades of blue. Nicer than this one, but not. I don't think we've seen one this clear though. So we've been seeing groups of locals going down this trail here. So we think that you can actually walk to the place that the boat tour will take you. There's some other pools, so yeah, wherever the locals are going, they know the good spots. So we thought we'd um, follow them. <laughs> Probably just going to be like a car park or something now. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, nah, I think there's something good down here. There must be. Ah, so here's one of the areas. I guess it's just a walkway along the side of the river. Oh, that one looks nice as well, doesn't it? Yeah. There's probably a bunch of spots then. Yeah. We thought it was just back there, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. That is ultra blue. Get a better view from up here. Oh, there's one of the boats. <laughs> yeah, so we have another pool, even more popular with the, the locals. Hola. <laughs> Look at the, the guy jumping from the trees. Where? There's a guy all the way up there. Whoa. <laughs> that was high. It doesn't even look that deep, right? No, but I guess, well, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah, so we mainly came for the beach. We knew that river area was there, but we didn't expect it to be this beautiful. Also, didn't know. Yeah, there was like various points where you can swim and stuff. And even this, now look at this, like some awesome jungle hike. So that's one thing that we've loved in the Dominican Republic so far as well, that the, the jungles look absolutely incredible. Seems to be like loads of varieties of uh, different plants and trees in the jungle. Yeah, with a lot of mosquitoes. I'm okay. <laughs> they don't want the white guy. <laughs> Normally it's the opposite. Wow, this is too, too beautiful. We don't even know where this pathway goes. It's like a little thin dirt trail now. Which way you want to go right? Towards the river? Oh, okay. oh yeah, let's go this way.
there another spot here? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful when it's empty. Oh, wow, right yeah. Here. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, I think we should go for another swim here. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Obviously. My new pet Patrick. <laughs> Patrick, Patrick the crab. The crab. <laughs> Taking How a ride. How did you get there? I don't know. I was just swimming, and then I just felt this thing crawling. <laughs> He's still on my back. Yeah, do you want me to take him off? Yeah, sure. Uh, All right, oh, Patrick. I, oh, oh, I can't. Oh, ding. <laughs> what the okay, hell? now you can do it. Come again. on, Patrick. Or maybe just uh, swim again, and then he'll leave. Yeah, he left. He left. <laughs> Bye, Patrick. Hey sir. <laughs> Enjoy the free ride. So before we head out, we're going to check out the other side of the beach because from the drone shots it looked a lot clearer. There wasn't that much uh, sargassum there. The water looked clear as well. So yeah, we just want to check it out quickly. Shouldn't take long to, to get there on the bike. So we stopped at this point here. I think there's a restaurant back there. And yeah, it does look a lot clearer here so far. Yeah, this is how it looked on the drone. So just a little bit of sargassum here, but yeah, this looks pretty damn beautiful. Water's completely clear, so you can swim in it. Not like over there. This side is way more rough though, loads of waves. It was a lot more gentle on that side. There was actually a sign that had a different uh, beach name for this side, so I don't know if it is a different beach, but yeah, it's all the same stretch of sand. Yeah, that is pretty wild. We weren't planning on staying here long anyway, we just wanted to check it out. We we're both pretty hungry. And there's a restaurant that we want to go to in um, Las Galeras that has a really nice view. So yeah, I think we're gonna drive back and check that place out. So the place we've come to is called El Cabito. It better be worth it because that road to get here was horrendous. We almost went back. In a car it would be okay, but yeah, on the bike, especially since there's been storms, it was all like muddy and stuff. So we'll see how it is. It also says that it was a natural space or something. Restaurant and natural space. Hope it's open. So luckily it was open and you're gonna see why we decided to come here, check this out. This is gonna be our dining spot. 
And look at this for a view. So we're right on the limestone cliff side. Our boat tour was like down here, right? Yeah, we saw the restaurant from the from the, the boat. boat tour yesterday. It's a fronton. Yeah. Beautiful blue color that though. And then there's also a main uh, seating area over here, up, up here at the top. Yeah, that's, that's one cool location. It's actually written there, El Cabuto. So me and Carol both got the pescado empanizado, which is breaded fish. Quite a lot, <laughs> a lot of fish actually. And then over here is, is that a salsa she said? Yeah, tomato sauce. Is uh, uh, garlic, I think. Yeah, and then got some bread as well. And she's also gonna bring us some rice. And this was 850 per person. So the lady said that you can also use the salsa for the fish. Let's try it out. So good. Mmm, mm, straight away. Mm -hmm. yeah. that that is some wow salsa. Mm -hmm. Wow, what, what did she put in there? Mm. Fish is really good as well, the breaded fish. Nice and crunchy. The magic salsa. <laughs> This is gonna be the last stop of the day. We were just gonna go back home. I mean, we still are, but we saw this little beach here. So I thought I'd end the video out here. I'm not even sure what this beach is called. This one doesn't have the sargassum problems. It's gonna be getting dark soon anyway, I think. Yeah, definitely worth visiting Las Galeras though, if you're in Dominican yeah. Republic. Especially because there are a lot to do. Like we did in the other video, there's uh, the beach over there, Fronton, which is beautiful and there's also the beach that we went today and other beaches that uh, we're going to probably explore on the next videos but from another city that we're going but you can, if you come here, you can do it from here too but it's a bit more expensive I guess for the two uh, guides and stuff but yeah, this place is beautiful, unfortunately we had the sargas sargasso issue this time but uh, it's beautiful anyway. Yeah, we're still having an awesome time anyway. A lot of people ask us about that uh, when we were in Mexico as well, asking how the sargassum issue is. So it's always going to be a problem in, um, in the Caribbean. And I think around July is when it's more common, but it can be whenever there is no exact season. So for me, I think it would just be good to go to a place like this where you can do other things that are not just the beaches, right? But even here, like there are some beaches that don't have the issue at all, but I think there's some other areas, like I keep saying the Riviera Maya, I think pretty much all those beaches since they're east coast, I think they all get hit really hard, but even there you can do other stuff, right, like cenotes and stuff, so I think it's just important to go to places that the beach isn't the only option, that there's other things to do, that's what, that's what I would do anyway. And in the next video we're going to be heading to the city of Samana, and yeah we're going to be doing like island hopping and stuff from there so really looking forward to that so stay tuned for that one if you like this video just drop a like as usual to support us subscribe if you like to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and we'll see you in the next one